and heat one. That's our fan speed tap number two. Error code E09. Uh, so that's going to be open inducer limit switch or condensate switch. Oh, that's our limit switch, so let's test it. It should be getting zero volts, so it is closed. Let's see if we can find a condensate switch somewhere. Alrighty, so here's our condensate switch. And it says that there's a, um, it looks like there's a harness, note 10. Connection may or may not be present. If connection is not present, wires 33 and 34 will not be used, which is these two. And they are connected to this, whatever that is. However, I also see a wire here, which goes to pin four on the motherboard. So, but then you can see here it also connects to our inducer limit. So I just gotta trace this wire and see if I can find it. But it's also connected to pressure switch. So yeah, we gotta we gotta see if we can find this. Okay, so I think this is the condensate switch because it's connected to the condensate trap, as you can see here. Um, I think it just measures the pressure in there. So let's see if this thing is actually closed. All right, so our condensate our condensate switch is here and it's open. So if we look at our schematic, you can see here that's supposed to be normally closed. So we need to find out why it's open. Okay, so I cleaned out the tube and I blew into this thing. Just so can I... This unit's like brand new. But, uh, let's see if it's doing anything. Okay, so yeah, now it's... Cool. So now it's closed. Oops. All right, let's reinstall it, see if it keeps working. All right, so we got the switch back in place. I'm calling for heat. Inducer came on. All right, we got ign igniters heating up. And let's see if we get ignition. Gas is on, right? Yeah. This is the craziest looking install ever. That's the upper there. All right, well, we got heat. Sweet. But yeah, so this is the heater, and then the upper closed over there. It's so weird. But, uh, I don't know why they just didn't install it horizontally. Anyway, it uh, looks like that fixed our issue. So we're going to turn it on and off a few times to make sure it's good. So I think the principle of how this works is if the pressure, if it's not draining, the pressure will build up in here and pop that open. So I was looking at this and it was pushed all the way to the bottom of the pump. So I think it plugged it and it, it set off that thing. So I'm going to cut that off at an angle so that it doesn't happen again. That's better. So this is now. That's better. So see now when it sits flat, it's always open so the water can still drain out. All right, I did it to the air AC one too, just in case. Yeah, so seems to have fixed it.